Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. By now you will probably be aware that DJI launched a new firmware version for their Mini 2. This is firmware version 01030000. And many of you, but not all of you, have reported that you are suffering from some slightly worse connection and some video latency and lag. And this is myself included. So I first noticed it when I did my very first firmware update, but I didn't want to make too much of an issue with it. I just put it down to on that day. It was then when you guys in the comment section decided to leave comments to say that you're expressing you know, that you're receiving this problem as well. I decided to go back out with the DJI Mavic Mini in the same area just to test the signal performance of that drone. And it seemed that the DJI Mavic Mini seemed to give me a better connection on that day. Now, what I did is I figured out, if you've not seen that video, you can check it out using the link above my head and I will leave a, a little sort of video end screen so you can click on it at the end of this video. How to roll back your firmware for the Mini 2 onto the previous version if you're not quite happy with the latest one. Now, what I've done on this video is go out and test after rolling back my firmware to the original, how good a signal there was in that area, okay? Now, just for the purpose of this video, obviously I have rolled back to firmware 01020300. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flight in the same area with which I did on my previous videos where I was struggling for connection. Okay. And then what I will do is I will do one flight, I will come back, I will then literally update the firmware live on location there and then, which you'll see on screen. Then I'm going to put the drone straight back up in the air, do the exact same flight, and just see if there's any difference. Couldn't be any further than that. So let's get into it. So let's click Go Fly. Mom, we're just waiting for those satellites to uh, lock in. Let's go and have a look. So as you can see, if we click About, the aircraft firmware 01020300, which of course is the old version. And as you can see, the app version is 1.4.4. Right, so let's go ahead and open up the compass and make sure it is on the compass so you can see that I'm pointing the drone at the controller or the controller at the drone. I keep messing that one up at all times. So let's go ahead and take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please okay. check it on the map. So let's get some altitude. So let's get up to 30 meters, which is what I flew at before to make this test completely fair. And let's head out. And as you can see, I am pointing the controller at the drone. Let's just see what happens. We're going to follow the exact same route. And like I said, this is on the old aircraft firmware. Obviously, it might be difficult to follow the exact same route, but we'll give it a good go. Everything seems fine so far. Then what happens is we received a bit of lag and disconnection when I flew up to the bridge. Okay, as you all saw on that video. As you can see, I've flown here 476 meters and I've got no disconnection. I'm only flying at 30 meters and that seems absolutely perfect. Okay, so. Let's turn around and come back. The same route. I'll keep moving the, the gimbal up and down so you can see if there is any problems with that. Everything seems fine so far. compass is ever so slightly off but close enough and there she is she's back right so let's land the drone update the firmware and see what happens landing Right, so the screen recording has stayed completely on. I'm not touching anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click back and it should give us the new Mini 2 firmware update. Let's go ahead and click install and that's the one we are already aware of. Let's click update. And I hope it doesn't take the full 10 minutes. 
because that'd be a nightmare and I don't want this video to run on for 10 minutes and I think it's probably best if I just cut this to the end. So update successful when aircraft automatically powers off, restart the aircraft. The aircraft has powered off, so let's click the X. We need to firmware update successful. Click the X again. Let's turn the drone back on. Let's click go fly. Let's have a look. Transmission, we're on dual band still, about. As you can see, the aircraft firmware 0103. 000. So let's go the ahead home point and has been off. updated. Please GPSs. check it on the map. I don't want any less than I don't want nine, so let's wait a second. That's ten. Make this fair. I don't want to take off with less than what I did last time. I don't want anybody complaining at me or saying it was an unfair test. So after that firmware update, it's taken a fair bit of while to lock in that more satellites, um, which is strange. But I can't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and take off. So we're do, going to do a manual takeoff as usual. So that's one take thing off. to notice. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So that's just one thing to notice. Um, we did take a lot longer to get the same amount of satellites. And of course, as you know, I'm in the same position let's go ahead and open up the compass so you can be sure that I am facing the drone at all times and now now we're up to the four satellites now unless I'm mistaken that video feed seems a little bit more laggy, but let's just uh, not worry about that at the moment. For the moment, I see. Oh, no, there we go. See? Lag. Now, even though this time it looks like I'm getting a full signal, there is definitely. Oh, there we go. More lag. See? Not just me. There's a paddle border there. That video feed is definitely not as good, 100%. But even though I have kept connection this time, and that's absolutely fine, as you can see, there was a definite... There we go, look. There is definitely more lag on the video feed. So yeah, like I say, this time I have slightly moved position, and I've got a video feed but yeah that was definitely more lag there we go look you see that I see drop didn't get that on the last one on the pre on the previous firmware and I'm flying the exact same position yes yeah, so it was only one oh, there we go look there we go. See, I'm not making this up. My lag. And as you're about to see, I'm sat in the exact same position. There we go, look. I haven't moved a muscle. So let's just spin round. Let's get back up to 30 meters and let's try it again. On the interest of being fair, as you can see, my compass seems to be a little bit more accurate on this flight. I'm pointing it, you can see, I'm there we go, look, lag which I wasn't getting before. There's that paddle border. There you go, look, lag. Lag. 
flag, which again I didn't get before. And now we're back here. So let's spin round again. Let's come back just like I did before. Let's see if we get any drop on the signal like we did before. Doesn't seem too bad this time around. But certainly I think that's conclusive. Even though I didn't lose signal, there was so much more lag and latency on the video feed. And I think that's absolutely clear for anybody to see. Right then, so what did you make of that? The first thing I want to point out is, yes, I was slightly in a different position to where I was sat on the previous day's flight, where I got the connection problems, okay? Now, once I'm home, I have obviously looked back and I reviewed the footage, and what I didn't actually notice where I was flying is on the new firmware update, it might have only dropped a bar once or twice, but there was a drop in that connection. Um, when I was spinning round over where the bridge was again I didn't notice that on uh, on this feed at the time but coming back and reviewing the footage it is certainly there but we did not get that on the older firmware version not to mention literally I couldn't make it clear enough there was so much more lag and latency on the new firmware version okay and um, so that was a back-to-back -back test as fair as humanly possible updated the firmware on location and those are the results. So hopefully that's completely conclusive and obviously I'm not making this up. And yeah, absolutely fully appreciate. I did not get a disconnection on the new firmware update like I did on the previous videos, okay? I didn't get that. However, the lag and latency was absolutely clear to see and we did get a couple of signal drops on that location and on that flight. And as you saw, I did it twice just to be on the safe side to completely confirm the results and got the same results. Whereas on the older firmware, I didn't seem to get any lag whatsoever and we got no signal drops whatsoever, even when we were spinning around at the same altitude at the same distance. So pretty conclusive. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and more tests. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.